Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Fusion here, and welcome back to Fusion Reactor, where I play a game for around 30 minutes and I give you guys my thoughts and opinions on said game. Today's game is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which is a first-person supernatural detective type game, and I can't really explain it too much here on the main menu, but hopefully when I get into the game I can actually do a little bit better of a job of actually explaining how the game plays out by actually showing you the game itself. Now, I haven't actually played this game before myself, it is a first impressions series of course and the game just came out yesterday so I thought I would do a video on it and I haven't really spoiled myself too much with it other than seeing a trailer which I thought this game actually looked quite gorgeous and some of the mechanics I actually like the look of from what I saw anyways so before we jump in let's go have a look at the options menu oh well I clicked the wrong button <laughs> there wasn't too much in the options menu you can change a lot of these as well as a little bit more in depth such as motion blur uh, radial blur blooming distortion and all that other good stuff which is quite nice for a game like this, even your field of view can be changed, which is great for a first-person game, because I love Ethan having my field Carter, of view. I didn't know. Quite high. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you, and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon, there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay, so we are actually in game now. Welcome to the world of Ethan Carter. So, I should say that this will contain spoilers for the most part, because obviously we will be playing through the start of the game, and I'm not too sure how the game will actually play. So I do know, at the start of the game, it says, when you actually start a new game, it says this is a narr narrative experience that doesn't actually hold your hand. Meaning that you could do anything, really, I'm guessing. It's quite a lot of... It's quite very pretty. I have to admit, like, it, it's probably quite simple when you get up really close to it, but other than that, it does actually look quite gorgeous. For example, um, well, it's just everything, really. The foliage and the sunlight shining through everything is really quite amazing. I didn't see this over here that looked like there was something over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, see, that scared the crap out of me. Sense. Okay. Hold... Do I really want to do that? Does it have any any relevance to actually doing that? Let's touch, let's try holding left click. We get what looks like a um. I don't know what that is. I can't really tell. It's, it's some rocks and stuff. Okay then. So I think that was giving me an indication maybe of somewhere somewhere else. I'm not too sure. Interestingly enough, uh, so yeah, we are a psychic detective. As far as I know, we have slight psychic abilities, uh, such as seeing things that have happened already. Uh, okay, kind of like, um, you know, if, if you see a dead body on the ground and you investigate it, this guy could, I don't know, I think he might be able, actually be able to see how the murder was actually played out. I'm not, yeah, I'm actually really lost and not entirely too sure what's meant to be happening here, but I can tell that the atmosphere is really, really nice, and I love the voice actor right at the start of the game. Uh, during that cutscene there, I don't know what it is about his voice. It actually just sounds really, really cool. And here we are. Massive view. Now, they did say this slightly open world, but not too much. You can basically go and explore whatever you need to explore. And I thought I saw something down there. Apparently not. So yeah, I'm hoping we get to come across something interesting shortly, maybe a, a slight puzzle or something. I'm not too sure if there is actually puzzles in the game, though I do know there are elements that we need to investigate and to kind of solve, so that, that's what I'm talking about, like mysteries, I guess. I did see this path here, I'm very tempted to go across the bridge, but at the same time I kind of want to go back here and just have a look. Oh, there is sprinting, that's very nice, I actually like that I can run around to get to pieces fa a little bit faster. There's some rocks there, an open field. And there's down, I don't think I want to go down there, I think that would be very bad for me. There's over there as well. I just want to quickly see what's over by these rocks over here. If, if anything is actually hidden away over here. Doesn't seem like there's anything over that way. 
Huh. It's a very pretty game, I have to admit. Very gorgeous. And, and I do love the fact that it's not actually holding your hand through any of this. Uh, there, there are a few invisible walls, at least as far as I can tell just by looking. But it, it is very nice that it seems to be slightly unguided. And I haven't actually played too many games uh, such as this one here that actually have the whole uh, detective mystery type element. Then in a first person perspective anyways. I don't... Oh, God. Damn it. I need to stop falling for that. Really, I do. Oh, hang on. That's the trap from before. Oh, so I walked around in a circle then. Okay, and this was another trap that kind of sprung out there. Oh, I'm getting, like, tingly feelings here. I hope this isn't meant to be a horror game. And that there is showing me... Oh, a little bit more, actually. Ah, see? The more traps we find, the better sense we get. And that's showing me what seems to be near a tree and a few rocks. I think that might be water to the left. Uh, sorry, to the right, far right there at the top, but I can't quite tell. So, that's it for that investigation. Maybe if we find more traps, we can then uh, discover a little bit more. But for now, I haven't actually stumbled across any more traps than those two from before. So yeah, it seems like your character slowly puts things together in his head, but I guess it's also up to us to actually do a lot of the uh, conclusion-type thinking. Oh, I, I am actually drawn in by how this looks. It's actually really, really nice. Actually, speaking about things that I should have been drawn into, uh, let me actually get the timer started here, because I feel I've wandered around for a little bit too long without actually setting the 30-minute timer. That's just how much I actually like the look of this game. Hell, I might even do a series of this, actually. It might take me a little while, because it's a very open-ended game in the sense that I'm not too sure where I have to go. It's not like a scripted story type game where I can just follow the path. Um, oh yeah, that's where I was over there, and I just kind of walked all the way around and came up here. Okay then, so it seems like it's time to go across the bridge. Let's have a little run here. Very, very... Oh, this wind. I thought there was like, some gigantic snake going underneath Red the bridge Creek then. Valley. Seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Now what? Warn me about that. <laughs> warn me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. I wonder why it would be his last case. Maybe he's just getting old enough, maybe he's retiring. I'm not entirely too sure. But I have to ask where that voice actor is from. Because I know he sounds awfully familiar. Well, you just can't pinpoint where I've actually heard this voice from. Seems like we have a cart up ahead here. Our sprinting is very quiet. We don't seem to leave too many sounds. There's no jumping or anything. But we can run quite fast. What is this? This is a... Oh, There's blood. And the inspect option. How would I inspect? Blood. Animal. Human. Accident, murder. Oh, so this is how the character actually thinks about stuff. He doesn't give it to you identical, like, straight away. He just kind of gives you, like, little hints, or at least, like, thoughts, mostly. Crank. Oh, crank, 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 crank. Is he thinking about... Hold. Oh, I can see what the crank is. See, that is kind of cool. I love this, like, ability I seem to have. So it's, it's definitely on... Down in the water, then. That's kind of obvious. I don't think I need to watch it anymore. I think it's down over there. Because it's definitely where I was pointing towards. So I'm guessing it's a indication of direction. And then the vision was more closely related to where it actually is. Uh, that is nice. So yeah. There's definitely some blood, blood underneath as well. I'm guessing that's going to be human blood. But then I, I shouldn't be so cynical about it. There's an enter thing here. Oh, we can actually enter. Ooh. Let's have an investigate on the inside here. Uh, oh, we can actually move this. I think we probably need the crankshaft to do any of that. So let's quickly leave. I love how the interface and the HUD is very minimalistic. It's only there when it needs to be there. Like, right now that's there. Right now this will only pop up if I'm close to it. It's very, very nicely displayed. I, I actually really like that. So let's wander down this path a little bit more. We have an option to go that way. I don't think there's too much this way. It doesn't look like there would be. But you never know. Maybe another trap that'll scare the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, no, I see a few flowers, and that seems to be about it. So, yeah, let's uh, move on down this way, then. Down either the road or the track. The do seem to be running very closely together, so... Might as well go down both, shall we? Let's see what's actually down here. I see something there on the tracks. I'm not too sure what that actually is. And then, what is this here? This is a, um... Yeah, what is that? A, a train box? A rope? Someone tied up? Hang on. 
cut ties. Untied, tied. No blood. Yeah, it's definitely a rope, and someone was tied up here by the seams of it. But they said that side was untied, but that side wasn't. So that's slightly uh, confusing. I kind of like that. What if I click on it again? I guess he just investigates like normal, or I know I've once I've investigated that that's all there is to it. So that's nice. Oh, there's there's blood down here. Ew, is that legs? I'm thinking, yeah, rest of the corpse. Blood trail. Victim dragged away, crawled away. I love his thought process. Yeah, severed legs. That is so awesome. I love how he thinks about stuff and he, like, he doesn't give it away. He doesn't tell you exactly what's happening. He just tells you what he's, you know, basically thinking, what you'd be thinking. Blood from legs. Well, I'm guessing it would be from the legs. Fractured skull. Oh, they they oh, well, I can touch the- why would I touch the body for? Well, oh well. Oh, hang on. But it's slowly getting bigger. Okay, that's all I can really do right now. Um, not yet. Uh, he even says not yet. Death scene, disturbed by third party. Ooh. That's interesting. So something's actually happened to the body after it's died. Maybe we had to solve it. I'm guessing the head trauma is via the crankshaft, but then why would it be- Oh, hang on. My guess is the guy was up on the train tracks, the train came along, maybe severed his legs, and then the he crawled away, then he was beaten over the head with the crankshaft, then the guy deposited it off the crankshaft down here, maybe? That's how I was to solve it, maybe? I mean, that's just a guess. I could be completely wrong with that, but... I do love how I'm actually thinking about trying to solve this, though. It's very, very, very engaging, and I, and I actually like that. So where would the crankshaft be? It was down here by the looks of it. Because I remember seeing that over there. And it was slowly starting to rotate around. So it was kind of like around here-ish, wasn't it? Or am I completely wrong? Oh, it's right here! Oh wow, I was actually quite close. There we go, crankshaft. So we can rotate it around, have a look at it, if we wanted to. See the blood on the end of it. So it definitely was used to either... Yeah, I'm thinking it was used to beat the guy over the head. I'm, I'm going to have to assume that. Just by the blood marking it had. Uh, is that it for down here? I believe that might actually be it. So let's go back to the actual tram and maybe move it back to... Oh, I don't want to move it over the legs, it's kind of disturbing. But um, let, let's actually follow this path back up here, not the one that we came down on with the body. Let's follow this one and see what's actually up here. The game is running at a constant 60 frame rate, uh, 60 FPS by the way, it is locked to V-Sync, so it is locked to 60. But at the same time, it's performing awfully well for what I'm currently seeing on the screen right here. I meant in Lily there isn't too much action going on, but for the visual side of things, and for it to be running so well, I'm actually impressed with the performance of this game. It looks amazing, and it performs amazing. So I'm not going to worry about too much about what's over here right now. I think I'm just going to focus on bringing the cart back. There's all the um, rubble there as well. And we can't really, we can't really uh, see too much on this side, so I think we have to go up on the other side to actually see what's happened. Maybe we'll come back to where those... Um, Passage, uh, not passages, where there's uh, leftover carts were a little bit later on, but not right now. It seems like my character doesn't get exhausted from running, so I don't really see a downside to actually using it now. Uh, there's two ways we can go, there's the body up there, maybe we can touch him with the crankshaft? <laughs> um, no, we don't get too much from that. I think we have to wait a little bit more. I I'm thinking... Because I, if I remember what I saw from the trailer... Oh, what's this? Inspect this. Diesel fuel, gasoline. Dropped. Careless and a rush on purpose. This also looks like there's blood here. Does that seriously not look like blood right there? And what's this? This is, uh... Grass? Tracks? Dry grass. Ah, where the cart was. No sun. No, definitely sun here. Rectangle shape rail car from the bridge. Yeah, so I'm guessing the rail car is from rail car. Yes, I know where it is. <laughs> yes, the blood on the front of it. I remember this. So yeah, maybe we'll have to take the actual rail car back here to maybe revert the scene back to its original case, like where it actually happened from. I don't think there's anything too much over here. A little bit of rubble, so it seems. But that is the basics of it. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, there is something here. Rock, rock, divot. Fresh dirt. Ah, someone removed rock. Rock. 
You think he was beating over the head with a rock? Okay, um... No, it's definitely close over here, but where? There it is. Uh, where's this rock exactly? Near... Cut down tree stumps. Two of them. Oh, actually, just one of them. They're really close to the train tracks, actually. Oh, I love this investigation thing. This is actually a really cool game. I'm actually really liking it. So yeah, now we have to find where that rock is. How that rock is important, I'm not entirely too sure. Maybe we can put it back to where we got it. It did say it was around about over this direction here. I'm thinking up here, maybe? At least this is where it would look like it was, anyway. Maybe a little bit further, further up, or... Oh, hang on, no, just over here. I walked right past it without even paying any attention to it. Yes, here we go. This is where the rock should be. There it is, inspect. And it does have blood on it. Oh, so it could either be the crankshaft, or it could be the rock. I'm actually not too sure what it could be now. Because... Where the body was dragged down there, you'd think that he, you know, uh, no, sorry, no, it wasn't dragged. If the body crawled down there, and it was beaten over the head, he, he could walk up here, throw the rock over there and just walk off, or he, then why would the crankshaft be down there with blood on it? I'm thinking the crankshaft was used for the actual death, but, let me look, fix. Ah, there we go, so now we, yeah, now we're just putting stuff back the way it is. And obviously the rail car has to come here now. I think... Oh, so we can actually click this and investigate. Oh, so we can actually see where it is. So we ha we can actually remember it like that. That's very nice. So if you've forgotten where something was, you can go back to the source, check it, and then do that kind of woody woody text thing. And then you can figure out where something is. Uh, so that, yeah, let's get, let's grab the rain uh, the <laughs> rail cart and bring that back. I'm going to say the rain cart. But, um... Okay, let's put the crankshaft in the front here. Like so. So we'll fix, then we'll spin it. So we just tap that. Okay. And I think we're good to go. Okay, let's take this thing back now. So I'm wondering why the police force wasn't actually involved in this. Okay, yeah, let's, let's definitely go back here. This is kind of cool. <laughs> I don't want to go too fast though, I don't want to go over the... Oh god, I'm going to have to go over the legs, aren't I? Please don't make a sound, please don't make a sound. Okay, is that where it needs to go? Oh, oh let me just quickly double check here. The canister is definitely there. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit too far back, I think. A little too far back, but I'm not too sure if that actually really, really matters right now. Let me just go slowly a bit f further forward and we'll leave it at that. And then maybe turn it off, because I think that would have to be its original state, maybe. So there we go, we'll go turn off. And we'll exit. Now if we go back to the body, maybe something's changed. Okay, there we go, that's making some eerie sounds. It definitely seems like it could have been all the way from back up here, but then with the angle of the sun and everything, it, it might be a little bit better off like that. So yeah, let's go check the body now and see what actually happens, if anything at all. So, touch. Well, here we go. We're getting a bit more now. We're getting a lot more. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm actually in this world right now. I, I thought I was watching a cutscene. So you see these little spirity orbs go to different places. Do I have to follow them? Oh, it did something. Oh, hello. Ah, so we're kind of seeing what's actually happening in this world. We can't really do too much with them. So we can just kind of see where they were at, at this current time. So... There's a guy here, does he have anything in his hands? He has nothing in his hands. Oh, hang on. No, he has the rock. He has the rock in his hands. This guy here is just, you know, turned around. It's like, oh, what do you want? And this guy definitely looks like he's walking over to beat him over the head. Ah, oh, maybe he beat him over the head to then tie him up. Ah, oh, that, that, that's all that's all possible. Because then, yeah, he threw the rock over there. Dragged the guy over here. Tied him up. Wait, it was the other guy that was... Huh. I actually thought the, um... I actually thought it was the other guy that got... Oh well. What's up here now? This is slightly cool. Uh... That's the kid that was tied up. Wait, so they were working together? 
But it wasn't the kid that died, it was someone else. So that that's Ethan Carter, I'm guessing. Can't be entirely too sure, but it seems like that's Ethan Carter. Let me um go down here and check out what these last two remnants are. Uh, I'm guessing they're called remnants. Oh, the kid was actually here for that. Oh no, you see, it was it was the older guy. He has a crankshaft now. And it seems like, yeah, either the guy was crawling away. Maybe he saved Ethan and then sacrificed himself. And then that guy decided to lead him over the head, maybe. Let me check this down here as well. Yeah, he. I'm guessing he definitely beat him over the head. That's that's what I'd have to say to that. Uh, so wait, is there any place left to actually investigate? I hear lightning from down here, but I don't know if that's actually relevant. Let me go down here and just quickly double check to see if there's not actually something down here. I have to check out. Um, I can't see any of the blue light thing, so maybe, maybe I have to go elsewhere. Maybe there's something I am missing. Oh no, the rock! I forgot to even check over by the rock, where the rock came from. Uh, in case that was actually relevant at all. I am still in this state, meaning there's something I haven't actually checked out, a remnant I haven't seen yet. Uh, so let's go back up the hill here. And check to see if there is actually something I've missed all the way up here. Maybe there's some way I can jump out of this thing, but I don't want to do that just yet. Maybe there is definitely- Ah yes, there is something over here, good. I wasn't too sure. Uh, chronologically- Oh! Do we have to mark out how this event happened? So if I tag you, that's number one. Oh, I have to guess in what order everything happened. Oh, that is so cool. So yeah, I have to guess... Well, I'm guessing he grabbed the rock. This would have came next, yeah. The these are definitely last. These are the last two, I'm guessing. Um... Wait, hang on, but then why would this guy be here if the guy over there had the rock? I'm slightly confused. Maybe he helped out the kid that came over there? We'll tag it that like it is right now, and then tag this one. I know it seems a little bit weird going in this order, but he did die here, meaning... And he didn't die over there, so I'm guessing this would have to be one of the later ones. And then you'd go with uh, this one here, and then this one down here. Let's see if that's it. Maybe visualizing won't work if we got it the wrong way around, so let's go visualize. So, guy here grabs the rock out, of course. Gale, yes. Honey, I wish there was another way. And he comes over to the cart. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Oh. Ah, oh, so I did it wrong then. Oh, okay then. So yeah, if I visualize something the wrong in the wrong order, then I've definitely, you know, I've definitely done something wrong. So one's definitely right, because that worked. Then that means that this one can't be actually two, which then means maybe that's two. No, but then why would that be two? Because he started asking, like, where is Ethan Carter? So... This is definitely where he died. I'm guessing, and this is what you can cut it. So maybe maybe this is the right way, just changing those two around. Sorry, that one and that one. Let us try this and see what actually happens now. Could be about trial and error, but oh hang on, we can go space to the next scene. Okay, Listen there we go. Me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Oh, please don't make it the Travis, right way around. Tell me where Ethan is. Now, I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. You need to go home. <gasps> oh, there we go. And he stumbles his way over to here. Oh, no. Ethan got himself out. Ah. No. Oh. <laughs> That's nasty. That's... Ethan, run goddamn it. Go! Get out of here! Travis, close your eyes.
Okay, so despite witnessing a murder happen right there, a very gruesome one at that, uh, being that his legs were cut off and everything, I'm not gonna lie, I actually very much like how this game's playing and how this game actually functions. It's got some really nice mechanics and doesn't actually hold your hand in any way like the side of the game actually stated. So to see this play out like this, simply via me actually solving it, I think this is actually really, really awesome. I think I'm gonna have to follow this all the way down to where the crankshaft went. Maybe not. No, you're definitely going... Yeah, you're definitely going down there to something. Let's go check that out, shall we? But yeah, no, I'm very much liking how this game is actually playing right now. And for $20 on Steam, this is actually a bargain considering... I, if, this, if the rest of the game plays out like this. Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. Ooh. So there's something called the sleeper, which I'm guessing is a spiritual... Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. I, as I was actually saying, I love how you actually have to solve the mystery yourself. And it's, not, it's not too handheldy in the sense that it, it gives away what's meant to happen. You, you actually have to try to figure it out and figure out what order everything happened in. Which I think is an amazing way to actually do something, do something like this. And that's actually really cool. So I'm guessing we're moving on now to being over here. And something called the Sleeper has infiltrated people's minds. And it's somehow connected to a room that Ethan knows or thinks that he has to destroy. However, getting into the minds of other people seemed to actually corrupt them. And I don't know what's actually back here. So I'm very, very curious. Probably another trap. And something doesn't sound all too good. I'm surprised none of these traps have actually killed me. They kind of pop up right in front of me. But not enough to actually harm me. Something sounds like a baby predator, honestly. <laughs> um, oh no, there is actually a path over here. I don't know if I'm meant to be going over here, but it's definitely uh, in intriguing. Oh, this is where the rock is, so yeah, you can go around this way as well. Uh, which is very, very nice. So um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go follow whatever that path is. Because right now we have no clear guidance of where we're meant to be going. There's no journal or anything of that nature and that sound is definitely lurking around me i'm not too sure what that sound actually is of but it's definitely very creepy sounding i kind of want to go up here and see what's actually up here there's a few trees come on where's another trap spring on me come on where are you i know there's a trap around here somewhere i hope i'm not going the right way because I kind of want to detour it and just investigate everything. I want to see what there is in this world, or what this world actually has for me to offer, or to offer me right now. And from what it's offered me so far, I've been quite, quite well pleased. I've heard that the game is quite short. I've heard that if you rush through everything, the game itself can be about four or five hours. However, if you tend to investigate or wander around or just do what you feel is right and just take the world for how it is and investigate everything, it can take you a little bit longer than that, which I kind of like. I kind of like that you can take your time, but being only four hours long, I that might be a downside. What is this? What is that? Oh. Was I meant to press that? Hang on. Oh. Okay. Is that the... Why was it huh? <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry. Someone in a spacesuit? What the hell is going on here? No, you didn't. You did not just vanish. There you are. I love the spacesuit design. It's kind of. kind of nice looking. Um, I have no idea what's going on right now. I don't even know if I was meant to investigate that. But whatever it is, it's definitely drawing me in over this way. Who are you? Tell me, you ass. <laughs> there you are. Okay, yeah, it's coming over here. Is he just going to leave me around in a circle and just lead me to nothing at all? Was he even meant to activate that sign? Okay. See, you just led me around in a circle. What, what, do you, what do you want? What do you want from me? Where are you taking me? Am I, am I getting too close to him, or am I just meant to follow him? 
Let's just follow him. No, he, de he definitely does teleport. Okay. And I see what I thought was him popping up over here. Yeah, it was. Okay. Where are you taking me now? Oh, there's, there's something over there. Um, oh, god, what the... What? <laughs> I don't even know what's... Whoa. That's pretty. That is really pretty. And I'm going through some wormhole. Oh, that's... That's doing my head in, but that looks amazing at the same time. Are we meant to get out at some point, or are we just meant to let it do its thing here? Yeah, maybe it's a loading screen. A little... Oh no, here we are. That was actually making me start to feel slightly motion sick. There's another pot over there. Oh, there's several of them. See, I was taking this game seriously, and maybe I'm still meant to be taking this game seriously, but I have no idea what just happened then. Whether it was some easter egg I've activated, some little mini-game or something I wasn't paying any attention to. But, this is kind of cool. It's out there. Maybe it's relevant to the story in some weird way. But it is- oh, I can move around in this thing. Oh, it sounds really weird. Can I do anything in this, I wonder? Oh! What was that? I heard a cracking of, of something. This looks really weird and it's awfully quiet. Oh no, hang on, there's something here. Read. Okay. Oh, I can't really read it the way it is. Oh, hang on. What if I zoom in? Zoom in via that key. There we go. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but it was heavy and slow. I'll let you guys read this for the most part. I'm going to quickly read it in my head. I'll see if that makes any sense here. Pure bright light. Creature along the edge of the stars. Should have fangs. I don't know what the fangs has to do with whatever this is. It seems like they're talking about the Astro, the... Uh, what do you call it? The Spaceman. But, um... The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned on with the beast. Uh... Yeah, that's, um... Huh. Wait, hang on. What? Oh, that's nice. You can actually convert it to, like, text. And I think that's really cool. So you can read it, like, authentic-like, uh, on the actual piece of paper, like like this, right now, to see the handwriting and the scribbles. Or you can read it as text, which I think is really, really cool. So let's accept. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories. Always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked, uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Oh, am I back now? Maybe? I, I feel I am. Okay, so this is where the craft took off. Oh, so maybe we just encountered a story of Ethan's. Maybe that was just some random story he wrote and we just experienced then through our psychic abilities and everything. Gaylord. Oh, it's, yeah, so it definitely appears like it's a story then. And we can proudly convert that over to text. Uh, America's Fire and it's fiction. Christian Gale, he's a Mars. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Travis's defacement. Gaylord. Okay, then. Interesting. I kind of find that's interesting. So, yeah, I'm thinking that must have been a story of Ethan's then. The, the Fangs one that he wrote down a piece of paper. We just kind of experienced that. As interesting as that was. Uh, looks like we're moving on now to whatever this little shed over here is. It looks like a bus stop, actually, though I can't be entirely too sure, because it seems like it's laid out like one with the seats and the clock and everything. Very, very pretty. I'm actually really liking this game right now. It seems like it stopped at 7.30, but I could be mistaken. It definitely appears that way. So let's wander a little bit more down this road, I feel. I think this is the basic uh, direction we have to head right now in. Oh, that's so pretty looking, really, honestly. You can't say that that isn't pretty at all. I'm taking screenshots here because I just know how gorgeous this game looks. 
I don't know if it'll run on most people's PCs, but it, it's definitely running perfectly fine on mine. It's why everything that's happened, all the effects, all the scenes that we've gone through, everything has been running without it dropping down one frame even. Uh, which is very, very nice. What is this place here? I wanna, we can't investigate it. Maybe. At least doesn't seem like we can. And there's definitely what seems to be a path going around and back over here. So let's check that out real quick. Ah, oh, this... Is that a cave? Or is that just what looks like a cave? No, it's not a cave. It's some rocks. Kind of cool. What's back around here? There's two ways to go. Or make that one way, because this way doesn't lead anywhere. There's, the, there's this way over here, then. What is over here, if nothing at all? Probably is nothing? What is that? Oh, it's just a, a log. And a little bit of light shining in on here. How pretty. This game is gorgeous, and the sounds and even the voice acting itself is really quite high quality. I'm actually enjoying this, honestly. I would recommend this game to anyone who slightly enjoys no mystery type things. Been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Again, as I was saying, if, if you're even slightly into mystery type games, I would recommend this in a heartbeat. Uh, it might not be very good because I haven't experienced the full game, I've only experienced the start, but the impression left on me was quite positive, honestly. I'm not going to do numbered readings in my 30 minute timer, it has just gone off. So at least it was glad that I started doing this like, outro talk there about the game itself. But very, very well done, and I apologize for actually having spoiled the game for those of you who are very interested in picking it up. But I, I hope I've done my best in actually spoiling it to the best I can by actually showing you guys everything. Though I may have missed quite a bit uh, in not actually having looked around properly. With that being said, I think I shall leave this here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I think I'll, leave, I'll, I think I'll see you guys next time. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I do highly, highly recommend this game, even if it's only a four hour long game if you rush through it. The atmosphere is amazing, the voice acting, the sound, great, and even the way you have to solve the mysteries is very well done. I quite like how it's indirect, it doesn't tell me exactly what I'm meant to be doing, it doesn't even tell me what I'm meant to be doing, it just throws me in, I solve a mystery like I did before the train, by putting the pieces together. I it was even working that in my head, and since I actually got it wrong for the most part, uh, when I came to the actual time sequencing stuff. So it just means that even even though I had figured out I got it slightly wrong, but that's still our psychic ability side of things. Again, I do highly recommend this game. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.